use all the time the OR, where doctors go. Operation room. Yeah, there's many, 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 many. I mean, these, but these, these are, this is like for us, we're grown up, yeah, for Matthew and Matthew, for school children, it's going to be bathroom, living room, bedroom, classroom, you know, simpler, simpler, easier. This is a bit more, uh, yeah, okay, because um, I was just finding the operating room. Is that one word or it be hyphenated, I think? Uh, classroom, but yeah, okay, we got that. You got the idea, anyway. So they're, 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 they're like little word language games, yeah? Uh, so you've got the vowels, compound nouns, which is, which is another gap-filling exercise. You're filling a gap, yeah? Because there's the gap, and then you give them the word, yeah, and you say, that's, that's what it is, it's a gap-filling exercise for compound nouns. Okay, uh, where's the other one? Uh, I was going to do drop, yeah, first word drop. Drop box, drop point, drop zone, drop out. Um, I did the preposition one with you, didn't I? For the aeroplane, for prepositions. Another gap, gap filling exercise. This one was for prepositions. You remember? Another way of getting the idea of prepositions across of teaching prepositions to children, matium or pratium, or adults, anyone. All right, it's a gap-filling exercise. The aeroplane flies something the cloud. Is that right? I remember, so I, remember I missed out a word last time. I do it and I forget it. And what goes in the gap is a preposition. The word in the gap is a preposition. Okay? So, what word goes into the gap? Words, any words. The plane flies above the clouds. That's a preposition. The plane flies over, in, to, into, where else? To, to and into, through, 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 he threw, the ball, the ball, the ball, the ball. At, me. at me. He threw, he threw the, ball the ball at me. At me. He, threw he threw the ball, the ball at, me. at me. He threw, he threw the, ball the ball at me. Through. through and through 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 right so the aeroplane flies through the cloud yeah okay but it sounds the same, through, it sounds the same as through, yeah? The past of to throw, yeah? Yeah? It's just that sound, through. Just to try and, to try and help you remember how it sounds, yeah? Because it's, it's, it's a difficult word. These, uh, sorry, how do you spell it? You don't know how to spell it, do you? Sorry. Mm. Writing, writing. I need a secretary. 
T-H-R-O-U-G-H. It's that, it's that O-U-G-H sound that changes, yeah? Like couch, cough, through, mm, why? But it changes. So to remember how that sounds, through, through, you know? Okay. Okay, but what goes in there is preposition. So the plane flies above the cloud, over the cloud, in the cloud, to the cloud, into the cloud, through the cloud. Cloud, plane, beside the cloud. Next. Two. Although that's a compound, that's a, that's a phrasal verb, but it will fit in there, it will fit in there. So we'll have to let that go. This is generally generally it's not a rule the guideline is prepositions fit in there but there's a few other things that will fit in there phrasal verbs adverbs um, so that's a that's a game for prepositions that's the compound nouns that's rubik so this is phonic sound sorry uh, it's uh, to give you the oh i've done it there uh, vowel sounds yeah so that's for the vowel sounds that's for compound nouns, that's for prepositions. Okay. Uh, let's have some more examples. You can see how many, 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 many go in there. Okay, the uh, plane flies. What about beyond, after, beyond? Beyond, yeah, that's it there. Plane flies before the cloud, flies beyond the cloud, right? Beyond, before. Uh, it flies after. Can it chase it? I suppose it can chase it. Um, many, 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 many. Okay, so that's one, two, three games. I can clean. I can clean away. Yeah? Yeah? All right, this is, this is a bit advanced it's for you but I, I I don't really know I think this is more Matium it's another language game okay so it's another it's another language game you know Lego do you know what Lego is you, know, you do know what Lego is. Yes, you do. Lego. The toy. The toy, yeah? Okay. Okay. All, all language, yeah. It's little, brick, little bricks connect, yeah. And all language, every language in the world, is little Lego bits that connect, yeah? And then you get sentence, you get book, you get the whole thing. Same with words, yeah? Um... I can't think of an easy one. The only thing I can think of right now is cyst, which isn't the easiest, but it'll do. Right, the stem of the word. Cyst. That's the fl right, flower, right? That's the stem, yeah? And then you're going to have a prefix, which is the head, and you've got the root, okay? Cyst. I can, that's all I can think of at the minute. I'll think of something in a minute. Okay. Now, a prefix. A prefix, pre, before, and fix. Yeah, so, the prefix, let's say, is in. In, cyst. See, that's the stem, the word stem, like on a flower, yeah? And this is the prefix, which, like, is the roots here. I mean, if the flower's that, well, that'd be the roots, yeah? Then you've got the flower head, yeah? And then after that, we have the suffix. Subject. It's like, think of something being subject. It's below, it's suff it means it's surface, it's below the surface. So it's afterwards, yeah? That's what suffix. So you've got prefix, word stem, suffix. And we put these bits of Lego, <coughs> Lego together, yeah, and you get word.
in cystid. That's, that's, that's like when somebody is very, very strong and, and saying, you will do this, you do this, yeah? The teacher insisted we finish the lesson. That means like, we will finish, you do it, you do it. It's a strong word, yeah? But and it's just because I, all I can think right now is this, cyst. But this is the prefix, this is the word stem, and this is the suffix, okay? Consisted. <coughs> Consisted. It's another thing, yeah. And we're, we're still using we're still using the same the same word stem cyst, yeah. <coughs> this has changed, yeah. It's gone from in to con, but that's the same. That suffix stays the same, yeah. Hello. What's, what's the meaning of cyst? What's the meaning of cyst? It's a uh, good question. I can't remember. It's Latin. Uh, it's like to stay where you are, not to move. <laughs> but it's more than that. In in Latin, it comes from Latin. It's it's like it's like to sit and refuse, I don't care what happens, I'm not moving, yeah? It's like a fighter saying, no, you know, it's strong, yeah? So, cyst means to stay, yeah? In cyst is, uh, is in is plus, it's adding more, more strength, yeah? And dead is, uh, is the, it's the past of it. It's, it's, it's all to do with Latin, and I'm not, I'm not the teacher to teach you that, to be honest with you. Let's be honest, look at this, look. We take that off, all right. we take that off, the suffix, right? And we've just got the stem. And we've got insist, you know? I will pay, I'll pay for that. I insist, yeah? I will, I insist, okay? Um, to consist is asking what does, what is something made of? What is it? What, of what does it consist? Yeah? Ed is the suffix which uh, is ending, ending the word for us in the past tense actually, but it's adding emphasis, more strength. Now another prefix here would be what? Insist, consist, you think of another one? As, is, as, is, as, is as oh, yes, very good. Yeah, I hadn't thought, yes, as. Assisted, yeah? As in to help, helped. I helped you, I assisted you, okay? Sorry, I was, I, when you when you said when you said as I was think I was thinking trying to think of another one I was, I was off somewhere, yeah that's brilliant I hadn't thought of that that's good yeah assisted, so I got insist consist assisted. I was thinking of R E, which is resisted yeah. Resist. Resist. Ed. Yeah, is when you, no, 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 no. It's uh, when you repel, you push away, resisted. But what you, what, what I want you to see, what I want you, teachers, not children, this is not for children, I want you, the teachers, to see one Lego, yeah, one. There, sis, 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 yeah? One Lego. Ed, 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 yeah? This is all that changes, yeah? But this is a suffix that stays the same. This is the word system, or word stem, sorry, that stays the same. It's the prefix that we change, yeah? So we have our Lego, yeah? And we just keep going, put a new one on, put a new one on, 
and we have four different words. Yeah? So for you, when, when, when you're reading, when you're looking at words, I want you uh, to try to begin to begin to see that the word, the bit in the middle, the word stem, it keeps happening in different words, yeah? And then there's the prefix, yeah, which is on the front, and then there's suffix, which is on the back, yeah? That's how it is. You think of it like that, as Lego, yeah? It helps you when you're reading, you know, you go, oh, that's, that looks the same, that looks the same. Okay, um, I'm trying to think of another one would be... Um, claim, declaim, decry, decry, not very good. This is actually me thinking, I, I wasn't going to do this because I, 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 I thought it, it's quite advanced, yeah? The, 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 it's the entomology of language, the way language is, is put together, it's, that's quite high, yeah? And I didn't want you to be really, really bored, you know? <laughs> because it's, I think it's interesting, you know, but it, it helps you to understand language, how it is. Uh, declared. I was thinking declared, and then there would be um, increase, increase. Decrease. decrease. Keep doing it to me. Come on. Increase, decrease, increased, decreased. Uh, increase, decrease. Yeah, well, that's two examples. That's good. That's good. That'll do. Need to clean anything. Yeah, yeah, excellent, excellent, excellent. Well done. Because look, yeah, in, crease, de, crease. Is there another one? Can we think of another one? No, I don't think there is. And then that, that of course, can have the ED on it as well, can't it? Uh, oh, well, the, here, actually, it'll just be a D, because you've already got the E. So it's not ED, because you've already got E, E, so you just put a D. So that's your prefix, word stem, and suffix, yeah? It's still the same one, two, three, yeah? Too big with that. I don't, I don't want to get too big. I was thinking, like, uh, determination. You know, it's, and then we're going to get in really big because you put an Asian. I'm speaking too fast, sorry. If the words get too long, it becomes complicated and it, it's not three anymore, it becomes five actually. So I don't want to go there, keep it at three. All right, so anyway, word Lego, right? Three parts, yeah? Prefix, word stem, suffix. Example, example from teacher at the front. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's 50 baht. Eh? Right. Okay, what, what, what? Well, we're, you want to tell Mr. Trevor we're ready now to show video and bring out the chocolates and the popcorn. <laughs> I want a yellow balloon and a hat. And that's it, really. Okay, oh, we'll show the video and then we got we do the evaluation. That that be evaluation. See, I could use that evaluation, devaluation, revaluation. See, that's prefix. Yeah, because you've got e. It's just e value. Value is just yeah. Because that's value. Value is you, that value is your thing, isn't it? That's your that's your word stem. Valuation, you know. So you've got a uh, devaluation. That's when money goes down. You can evaluate evaluation. Evaluation. That sounds about right. Isn't it? Evaluation. Yeah. Evaluation. What else can we talk about? Devaluation, evaluation. Oh, pre there's another one. I know I can't think. I just, I'm thinking about these people out here. Anyway, we'll, we'll say that's it, all right? Okay, maybe next time we can do some more. Or on the, you email me, I'll think of more. I'll put a sheet together and bang. Okay, thank you very much. You've been beautiful. <laughs>